Hey guys, and welcome to how to paint blue-green armor on a Soul Black Grave Lord's Vampire. So, I've had a few people ask me, so I've decided to do this uh, um, hobby tips uh, tutorial. Uh, I, I just, I've just completed the uh, how to paint pale skin on a vampire tutorial, uh, which uh, went up by this video probably a week or two ago. Um, I'll leave a link in the down there and maybe in the top right hand corner here. But yeah, I had some people ask me about the, the, the blue-green blend that's on the on the armor of that one. And um, I was planning to do a, a hobby tips video on, on that uh, that blend, but um, just not at the time. But enough people asked me, so I was like, okay, I should probably get this done and, and let people see how to do it. Um, I do have that blue-green blend on other models on the channel in, ho in hobby chat videos and stuff like that, but nothing where I'm actually specifically taking you through the process. So I thought this would be a good chance to do that. So anyone that's out there that was asking this question, this video is for you and everyone else, I guess you're along for the ride. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to go through and um, build up this armor on this, this lovely vampire here from uh, Warhammer Underworlds. And um, I'm going to show you how to do it. So we're using a few colors. We're going to be using this uh, dark sky blue here from Army Painter. We're going to be using this uh, sick green from Vallejo Game Color, which is a really important color for this particular type of uh, green armor. The, the, the reason why I like this is that there's a lot of um, pigment in this. It's a very, very rich sort of grass green color. And, and it's the reason why this armor looks uh, so nice and vibrant when it's done. So then we've got uh, for the highlights, we've got uh, this Toxic Mist and the Kraken Skin from uh, Army Painter. And basically the concept is we're going to be uh, building up from a blue base and then building in these green tones and, and blue highlights. But I'm going to take you through that in a second, but that's where we want to begin. So you want to grab yourself a model, something with armor on it. Um, it doesn't have to be a vampire. Obviously this can be applied to anything. And if you have a look on my channel, uh, you'll see, you know, um, different models getting applied with this, this technique. So on things like capes and fabric, uh, you can, and you can do this with any color also. So if you wanted to try a blend with, you know, a different set of colors, like, um, you know, you, you might want to have red, like blue going into red or something like that, that would also work. Uh, you'd get more of a purple, uh, magenta thing going on in, in, in the in the blend in the mix but that could actually be really really um, really lovely as well and for that you'd want again uh, the main thing you're looking for is is a is the main dominant color needs to have you know a fair bit of pigment in it something that's like relatively rich so you get a nice a nice good vibrant uh, finish to it so I guess uh, let's get into this eh? Okay, so to begin with, we've got to set up our colors and our gradients. So um, because we're doing, it's not really complex, but there's a, a certain sort of set of steps you need to follow to get this armor to really look uh, the way it does in in that uh, in the video that I've done on the pale skin. What, what we're really doing here is we're going to be blending up from a blue base and blending up through the greens uh, about sort of uh, three quarters of, of, of each of the armor panels down towards the towards the edges and then uh, on the reverse side going up to the top with uh, with highlighting in blue. So you can see the way I've done this gradient. We've got the blue at the base and then we've added a little bit of the green in here for our first uh, base color and that's a very sort of dark blue green and then slowly added more of that green in till we get to the mid-tone here which is basically mostly the, the, the straight sick green uh, with a little tiny bit of the blue in it and then we're starting to add the kraken for the first highlight second highlight and a final little pop highlight of, of basically straight kraken at the end and then going the other direction so going up each of the panels rather than down we've now got a little bit of this uh, toxic mist blending into the blue for those final highlights so you're sort of you're going to be going in two directions and that's where this this technique really comes in so um, yeah once again we're going to start from the blue base and work our way up through the greens to the edge now, one of the things to consider here is that not all the panels you want to do in that formation. Uh, so what I mean by that is that when you have like a, let's say, for instance, this shoulder pad here, you might, instead of doing blue on the top, you might do the blue in the center and do highlighted green all the way around. Now, if you look at my painting tutorial on the, the other vampire, you'll notice that the little armor 
piece she's got on, on her shoe or around her leg, because it's uh, separated and you see an edge all the way around, I've chosen to highlight that uh, with the green all the way around and have the blue in the center. So you, you won't necessarily on every panel do blue at the top and green down towards the, the end. Um, you might vary that up and do blue in the center and then green all the way around. It just depends on the armor panel and that's really an aesthetic choice that you'll make for yourself. Um, you know, you just want to vary it up. So for instance, on this knee pad, we might do green all the way around and blue in the center, but on the on the leg grieve here, we might do blue at the top and green at the bottom, you know, so you get a shadow. And that's mostly what you're trying to do is create this sort of transition from dark to light and give it a bit of uh, interest and uh, basically, you know, lots of shadow and so on. So on the back here where we can't really get in with our brush, we'll probably stick with, with a lot of dark blue in there and do most of the green on the edges where we can see it. So you get a bit of drama happening and that's really uh, how you're going to approach this type of uh, blend of, of, of one color moving into to another. Okay, so to begin with, we're going to get that base down. So that's the blue, the dark sky blue. And so you'll see me come through and we're going to just basically coat all of those armor panels in that blue uh, all over. So just going through and picking those out, make sure you're mixing a, a little tiny bit of water with that just to keep it nice and thin. And you may even do a second coat. Um, I'm pretty sure I did that uh, during this process, but you're just building up um, that base. And then from there, we move into that gradient. So the first one is with a little bit of that sick green and giving it a like a dark blue green and so you're going to start about three quarters down the armor panel and begin painting in that that shade and so you'll you'll begin to see a a subtle gradient that moves away from blue and now into green and so you're just picking out each of those details on those armor panels and building that up so each one is going to be a little different but you're basically moving to the ends of the on the downward facing ends of all of those armor panels and on the on the things like the knee pads and that sort of area Area, you're going to be doing that individually uh, down towards either the centers or the edges as, you, as you're seeing me do and we're going to leave a little bit at the top for the blue so the highlights as we're going through and building up through these different stages are going to be leaving an area that's just blue and so you're going to have to dispel your uh, your need to want to connect all of that with green and leave a little bit of, bit of blue at the top so that's that top quarter of each of those armor panels uh, that you're doing so that you can leave that for later highlights and those blue highlights will eventually connect to the green. So we're just moving through now into those mid-tones and building up and so it's up to you how much you want to leave. On this one I'm choosing to do a more extreme uh, transition between green and blue so we're seeing more of the blue shade but you could add more of these mid-tones of green as you're building up to have a more green base uh, armor that, than a blue one. It's it, it's it, pretty much entirely your own decision as to how you want to go, go through this. So um, as you're seeing me do this, I'm just going to be picking out less and less of those edges, all those armor panels towards the edge, uh, getting lighter and lighter and lighter. So as you're coming in now towards uh, the end stages, we're now mixing in more of that crack and green skin into, into that blend. And so that's where you're just building a luminosity. So you might do several coats of, of this sort of mid to highlight color. You're going to start to just add more and more onto those edges to build some nice vibrant green to, towards the tips. And that will really make the whole thing start to come together. And you're going to see a big change from when it was this sort of blue green, you know, uh, shadowed sort of color to now coming right into a quite a vibrant green tone. That sick green that has a little bit of blue in it. Now with that little bit of that crack and skin in it is is just the perfect the perfect thing to really make make it make it stand out and so then the final stages are almost pure crack and skin and you're going to be doing those highlights and that's where we're picking out the edges and the, and and dotting in in the points where the armor panels come together to form a you know a sharp edge or a point you're going to see me dot those in around the knee pad on the shoulder pads and so on and you're just building in that brightest bright so right up to basically full crack and skin and and picking out where you want that to be and on this model we've got the focal point around the chest and the face so we want to see more of that brightness to 
towards the center of that uh, that chest armor panel you know uh, and, and just put some spots of light there to draw your eye towards the center and then up into the face and that's really the, the point we don't want to highlight every single edge we're looking at the top area the the portrait area of the model and we're going to be focusing our attention on those final highlights towards that end so you don't have to worry about doing you know highlights on the back sides of things or the undersides or down towards the feet you can leave that more the mid tone to mid to highlight tone and leave and, and leave the really prominent details the highlights towards the face and then we're on to the part where it all really comes together and that's these little blue highlights on all those top e edges of all of your armor panels on the areas that you've done like that and um, yeah th this is a very satisfying part for anyone that's got OCD this is going to help you resolve that so you begin with a little bit of the toxic mist mixed in with the blue and you're going to see me now slowly connect uh, all those little top edges to the green highlight and then going right up to a sort of off toxic mist color which is just on the very tips just the same way you've done the crack and skin and you'll see that the tonal range is very similar and it's going to connect and join and blend and so you'll you'll then complete the armor panel and so you've got this nice um, top side where it's blue going all the way through greens up to a really vibrant uh, bright green on, on the edges and you should end up with something really cool okay and there we are a blue green blend on some soul blight grave lord uh, vampire armor so you know you can see that um, once you've set up that gradient and you move through it all you know you, you end up with it, it's sort of paint by numbers you know you're just following the the armor shapes and so on and you just build it up and you end up with a nice result on this one um, if you'll notice a difference to the uh, the vampire and the pale skin tutorial that one had a lot more flat areas so you can see more of the green blending up uh, uh, to the highlight there and less of the blue on this one because it was so faceted you know you got a lot of ang angles here um, I chose to go for a, a slightly more extreme contrast between the green and the blue so you see more of that blue shadow but that's really an aesthetic choice that you can make for yourself you can go one way or the other depending on the shapes that'll that'll dictate how you go about doing that green uh, to blue blend so it's, it's really fun you know you can get a lot of difference with just the same technique on different models and you'll end up with something really cool so I hope this has helped. Um, I'll leave an overview of her um, so you can see the, the results there and under better conditions. But I hope it's uh, helped you and you can you can uh, have a go at this yourself because it is a lot of fun. As I said, you can also uh, do different color blends. This is this is just a, a technique that you can apply to any any set of colors. Uh, I'm, I just particularly like blue and green, but you can do uh, as you will. So I hope this has helped. Uh, please hit that like button, subscribe button. It really helps me out. And I guess I'll uh, catch you on the next one.